Commander uh, Mujal Falbia. Uh, I am the officer in charge of SNAV Diving School in Summons Town. <coughs> we are gathered here today as part of the national uh, diving recruitment drive that has been going on from uh, the past two weeks and we still gonna go on for another two weeks in different areas, different provinces and uh, pre-selected locations that has been advertised so far. Uh, our mandate is to uh, recruit uh, uh, possible candidates that uh, can be trained as Navy divers in the SAADF under the auspices of SA Navy Diving School. For this process to happen, the, it starts first with a paper selection. Our candidates need to have either maths or physics. Uh, and under uh, special circumstances, maths literacy will also be considered. Apart from the maths and science, we also have an APS score of a minimum of 20 that needs to be met for a person to be considered. And on that metric certificate of the APS, uh, life orientation does not count. It's only the other specific subjects that excludes life orientation. Once the paper selection has been um, made, we will then start with our physical selection. Our physical selection is broken down into two parts. The first part being the water phase. And on the water phase, we are looking for candidates that can be able to swim 300 meters under eight minutes and complete other water orientated uh, evolutions, such as uh, swimming with a mask full of uh, water, swimming with the snorkel, doing underwater swim, and also swimming with a, a weight belt. These are the basic uh, uh, tests that we run that gives us an indication as to whether a candidate will, have, will be able to go through the vigorous training that the SNAV divers uh, give when they get to uh, Simon's Town. The caliber of candidates that we are looking for is uh, candidates that do not have the fear of water, number one. Do not have fear of heights, as they will be jumping off helicopters as part of the CSC rescue missions that are in conjunction with the civilian and the military uh, uh, civilian agencies. And these guys must be able to work well within a team. As a Navy diver, you don't dive alone. All the time when you go into the water, you go in with a, a, a body. Should anything happen to your body underwater, your, the, the, the person that you're diving with should be able and should be trained to ensure that you'll be able to save uh, the life of his body and be able to you know, uh, assist wherever necessary in terms of any emissions that may happen underwater. So once the candidate has already uh, uh, satisfied the requirements in the water phase, then we'll all move to the land phase. The land phase which concludes of uh, uh, 2.4 kilometers that must be uh, completed in 12 minutes, uh, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, and be able to climb a rope uh, and all the others that are associated with the land phase. Once this selection has been completed, we then send over the names of those that have been pre-selected, the acquisition part do their job, and then they, they join the military skills development of the year 2022, where they'll go do the training there in Saldana. After the uh, uh, MSDS program has been concluded in Saldana, then they will be uh, uh, drafted out to diving school there, where they will start their initial diving training. Their initial diving training includes, but not limited to, uh, 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 damage control, AC rescue, chambers, and a diving phase as, as required.